We love the EDC community. We love the knife passion. We love the idea of carrying a knife every day. But I will say, I think everybody can agree with me that knives, I mean, these days, I don't know, but knives just keep getting more and more expensive. When you find yourself a knife out there that is just a good deal and it actually gets work done, you get bang for the buck. That is a good, good purchase right there. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel and you're watching Miguel EDC. Today we're going to be doing an awesome quick video here going over some awesome awesome EDC knives like the ones you see here on the table. They are so so cheap but they are so 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 good and that's what we're going to be doing today. Just going over some quick budget knives. Knives that actually are solid, very reliable. I have tested them. I've had them here. I've owned them for a while now and they have certainly performed and they are at an affordable, very affordable price. Keep in mind guys they are linked in the description for every single knife that you see in this video those links do help out the channel at no extra cost to you please follow me on instagram and on twitter as well if you don't mind we'd like to hang out over there i put all kinds of content there sometimes first than i do here on youtube so let's go ahead and get things started here without further ado so starting the list off here is going to be the reich p801 this guy right here awesome awesome edc knife right here this one comes in i believe around 30 dollars or so and uh, what do you get with this guy well first of all you have a nice stone wash finish everywhere on the blade and the handle as well looking at a 14c 28 and steel drop point blade with a flat grind absolutely cannot go wrong with this guy at all and if you're anything like me i love monochromatic knives a ton this one has blue accents of course so that's also pretty neat it gives it a nice popping color there that anodized blue going on in the pocket clip right there on the dump studs also on the pivot color this guy right here is going to be a flipper and then i want to say you could thumb deploy but it's going to be a little bit tricky the thumb studs are a little bit too small for my taste i want to say yeah they are definitely on the small side but you could i guess if you put a lot of effort into it yeah, you could definitely flick this guy here with the thumb stud. Reverse flicking, not so much. I want to say the detent on this guy is very, very... I think it's tuned just about right, but not not so much for thumb deployment. As far as flip deployment, it's just on point. This guy is also a frame lock right there, as you can see, right? And it has stainless steel scales going on right there with the frame lock. And you have a very deep carry pocket clip. Very nice there with the blue accent. Very, very centered blade. And I've had this knife here for quite some time. You've probably seen it in the channel a time or two. And I mean, this is as, as good of a bargain as it gets. The Reich P801 SF. Can't go wrong with this guy. I have a full review for this one and every single knife in this video. So if you want to learn more about these knives, check out the review video in the description. But yeah, very, very solid knife here to start us off. The Reich P801 for around $30, $30 or so. Coming in at around $25, we have the Fleesa knife. This guy right here from Fleesa. They are very interesting with their naming because they don't really get too creative. This is called the Fleesa folding knife. Yeah, there's that. How's that for a name? So, but you do get, you get a nice D2 stonewash blade right here with a very Warncliffe looking sheep's foot combination going on right there. Very Cybertruck looking in my opinion. That's always what comes to mind. Again, D2 on the blade. This guy's rocking the crossbar lock as well. Makes deployment with that crossbar lock very, very smooth. I want to say this thing is butter smooth. I'm telling you. Got some ball bearings going on on there for sure. You could do the reverse flick on this guy. You could do the thumb deployment or you could slow thumb deploy if you want. Got some uh, G10 going on all around on the scales. Exposed liners. Very deep carry for the most part. Yeah, pretty decently deep carry pocket clip right there with a lanyard hole. If you're into that, the liners are not milled. They are not milled at all. And it is a very, very solid EDC knife for about $25. For about $25, you can't go wrong with this guy. Keep in mind, guys, when you check those links in the description, if the price is $5 more, $5 less, I'm giving you somewhat of a ballpark. Those prices do fluctuate sometimes. And it's always good if you can catch any of these knives on special, right? Save yourself a couple of bucks. But that being said, a very nice red accent right there on the pivot, only on one side. And again, very drop shotty action with this guy. The moment you release that bar lock, blade drops very very quickly got a nice uh, plunge grind right here for sharpening very very good and this thing has been through so many car boxes i can't even begin to explain and it's still holding a pretty good edge i mean for the money this is probably the best fleece knife folder that they make and you cannot go wrong with this guy super happy to edc this knife anytime it makes it in my rotation next we have the ganso firebird with some weird letters and numbers which i'll put right here on the screen because again they also don't really get too creative with the names but what they can 
can do is actually make a really solid budget knife and that is this guy right here we have an awesome another crossbar lock just like the last one this one's a little bit more robust i want to say and uh thumb deployment on this guy is also really really good the reverse flick is a little bit more challenging right to put it lightly it takes a little bit of practice of course there's a breaking in period for this guy absolutely you have a nice satin savage looking blade here with 440c steel going on and it's a very nice drop point design a scandy i want to say yeah it looks like a scandy type of blade geometry there or blade grind and um g10 going on all around very nice od green and very creepy g10 uh this one comes in a lot of different colors as well i want to say decently deep carry pocket clip not the deepest carry clip but it's nice and uh, chrome there if you like that the pocket clips are not recessed but um you know it's just getting a little bit nitpicky here very pointy end all right so that, that might be a like or dislike of yours personally i don't mind it and uh it has a linear hole right there very geometric triangle looking linear hole uh, exposed liners on this guy a very nice backspacer here same matching color and everything as well and a pretty line blade right there even after a ton ton of use ton of use so you guys be the judge very very solid knife this one again around 25 dollars maybe 30 somewhere in that ballpark but yeah money well spent right here i've seen tons of comments from you guys in prior videos saying that you have this exact same knife and that you love it and that it's probably some of the best money that you have spent getting really really good value for each of those hard earned dollars of yours that being said moving on to the next one and in the spirit of full disclaimer these last two models were sent in by each company respectively uh we have the netfoss team very special thanks to netfoss once again for sending in the netfoss w swan right this is the netfoss w swan have a nice d2 satin finish drop point blade going on right there and that knife is the business and we have a nice stainless steel bolsters with g10 combination there for the handle exposed liners it is a flipper deployment and flipper deployment only if anything i wish that there were thumb studs on this guy so you could quickly and easily thumb deploy this guy as well but they decided to go with a flipper approach only this is going to be a little bit of a heavier size so if you're looking for more of a substantial weight in the pocket you're not looking for the most feather knife out there but you're looking for some like a serious knife it's a little bit also on the larger side as well so overall length it's uh basically larger than uh you know the knives that we have looked at so far check out the review video on this guy if you want to learn more but we have a liner lock on this guy all right i want to say decently able to access but it's a little bit slippery if anything so there's uh you know maybe having a little bit of extra grip there and some jimping like jimping would have helped if anything other than that you have a pretty significantly deep carry pocket clip which is also a uh, very shiny chrome style uh, with a little bit of a mountain peak going on there that will show out of your pocket if anything that's about it laying your hole there for again the five or six people still in the world that use laying your holes and lanyards period <laughs> And this one is actually one of two because they also sent a twin brother here, this one in titanium. It has titanium bolsters on this other version. Same D2 blade, but with like a gray coat on it to match the titanium. And both of these are gonna be very, very drop shutty. As a matter of fact, as you can see here, I found that the stainless version is the most drop shutty of the two, right? And also the better slicer, right? Because there's no coat on the blade whatsoever yeah this thing slices like crazy so check out the review video we do a couple of you know paper and cardboard cutting tests and things like that there if you want to see more and last but not least moving on to this other knife here again these are in no specific order but this one's also sent in from lothar the lothar leech king is the name for this knife and man oh man is it a sweet looking edc knife also on the robust side of knives style knife though not the most further lightweight knife out there if that's what you're looking for but a pretty substantial good amount of weight to it it is a flipper but you do have multiple other deployment options you could thumb deploy this guy there's a cutout right here for your thumb you could reverse flick yeah this guy is really really good i like the fact that it has two more deployment options over the w swan the w swan was around 35 dollars by the way and this one comes in at 40 dollars right 40 dollars so d2 blade d2 steel going on here on this awesome beautiful sexy very attractive looking blade which i mean i can't personally get enough of you have a recurve tanto slash harpoon or maybe all the above in one 
that that's just a very unique looking blade right there an awesome satin finish again that is a d2 steel we have a nice stainless steel bolster going on as well with the g10 combination also and a nice bronze and nice bronze accent going on on the pivot right there so very very nice very elegant i want to say also exposed liners all throughout the very nice kind of wiggly design here towards the back if you can see that right there a little wiggly there that's uh, interesting kind of helps maybe with the grip a little bit i want to say ergonomically speaking all of these knives are really really good very ergonomically friendly and uh, linear hole here if you're into that i want to say this knife comes with a very interesting linear by default if you want to check out the unboxing video on this guy pocket clip on this guy is not the most deep carry compared to the w swan but i mean if that's more so your style then you are fine there it is only on one side it is not on the other side the same goes for the w swan i'm not sure why they didn't do the pocket clip for lefties which is a bit of a sunk right there uh let's see the ganso firebird has a yeah has the holes on this side for lefties the fleesa doesn't have it for lefties and the last but not least the right doesn't have it for lefties either so with some of these budget knives right you might want to make sure if you're a lefty right do double check to make sure if you're a righty no problem whatsoever going back to the lothar leech king uh g10 feels really really good and it's also a liner lock so very very smooth i want to say this liner lock is a little bit smoother than the one on the w swan it's also a flipper as i mentioned it is on ball bearings and i want to say maybe the d10 needs a little bit of tuning because uh you could fail if you you know uh i guess i'm putting enough enthusiasm into it as long as you put enough yeah enough enthusiasm into it you should be all right you should be all right with this guy so all right so you guys let me know which one's going to be your favorite is it going to be the reich p801 coming in at around 30 dollars is it going to be the fleesa folding knife in d2 coming in at around 25 dollars also coming in around 25 to 30 dollars the ganso firebird right here is it going to be either the w swan with titanium or w swan from netfoss with uh stainless steel right there right both of these are around 35 dollars and last but not least oh, by the way you can see how much bigger these two are compared to the other guys right so size comparison right there uh, if anything the fleece will would be maybe the smallest one followed by maybe a i don't know i want to say maybe the ganso is the second largest one then the reich p801 sf then the i want to say maybe the the w swan brothers uh take the cake here as far as the longest length right overall length and then um, the leech king right before that leech king is around 40 dollars by the way so you guys let me know right let me know in the comments which one will be your pick out of these five knives i'm counting these at the same one because they are the same knife just a different variation so let me know if you like seeing content like this on an ongoing basis uh let me know if i miss anything in the comments give me some feedback down there do me a favor and hit the like button if you haven't already because guess what after all it is absolutely free and hey if you uh, like this type of content please consider subscribing i do make a of course all kinds of knife content on an ongoing basis all kinds of edc gear is covered here in the channel and if you would like to support the channel a step further please check out the miguel edc patreon link down in the description as well where you can support the channel for as little as one dollar a month thank you guys again for hanging out with me until the very end if you made it this far you guys are the real mvp i'll catch you guys on the next one peace